So recently, we did a video on the best macOS apps, and that got us thinking, what's the next best Apple device? iPhone. That's right. Ever since I got my new iPhone, I've been hunting for some really cool apps on the App Store, like this one that lets you control the phone with your eyes. Crazy. Or even a real-time voice translator. What? That's like the future. So yeah, the thing is, there are really good apps that are hidden under the surface on the App Store. So let's check out some of the little known yet really cool apps for iPhone. Let's start with the most amazing app on the list. Hawkeye Access for iOS takes advantage of the Apple's latest eye tracking technology on iPhone X series phones, by allowing you to use eye and face movements to control your device hands-free. Simply download the app, calibrate it, and there you go. Check out how awesome it is. Okay, I admit the app still needs work, but towards having a great potential for those with motor impairments. Apple makes it really difficult to play different video formats, but this app really fixes that. I mostly watch Netflix, but when I'm going out on a vacation and want to watch offline movies, I use Play Extreme Media Player. So if you have a couple of movies on your computer that you'd like to watch on your iPad, or your big ass 10s Max, Play Extreme makes it easy to transfer files from the browser over USB from a local NAS. And once you have it on your device, simply open the app, then start watching. Play Extreme Media Player can play most formats using through it. Check it out. The iPhone 10s Max is one of the most beautiful phones but with this one thing, that notch. I'm glad the S10 put the notch array to the end, but if you're on iOS, well, you can use an app like Nocho. It's basically a wallpaper app that hides the notch. Nothing fancy, but it still works. Enjoy your notch-free home screen. Moving on. I watched a lot of Netflix at home and in, even at work, and most good titles are only available on Netflix US. For instance, I want to rewatch The Office, but it's only available on Netflix US. So I'll switch my country, make sure you use a smart VPN server. And as you can see, I can watch the US Office with Smart News Proxy VPN. That still works for Netflix. If you're interested, check out the playlist on how to get started. Moving on. You know those gorgeous Instagram stories that everyone's sharing these days? Yeah, the one with the picture and a bunch of text? Well, turns out it's an iOS app, Unfold, that's doing all the magic. Unfold comes with a bunch of Instagram stories template. Simply tap on the plus sign, add a picture or a video. Write a bunch of text and save it to the camera roll, which you can later publish on Instagram. Unfold is a must-have app to up your Instagram game. Try it out. Next up, we have a favorite utility app on iPhone. Mobile Mouse Remote, as the name suggests, lets you control your Mac from your iPhone or iPad. To get this working, you need to install the app on your iPhone and its companion app on Mac. Once done, you can control the mouse pointer, switch apps, put your Mac to sleep from your iPhone, Although other features such as launching Netflix on the browser or volume controls are paid and cost about $2. When it comes to language translation, Google Translate is the go-to app for most people. But to be honest, the real-time voice translation on Google Translate isn't the best unless you have Google Buds. Anyway, this new app, Voice Translator from Alive Software, makes communicating in a different country much easier. Simply open the app, select the two languages you want to speak, by the way, it supports 117 languages, and then start speaking. Every time you finish speaking, a bubble will appear with what you said, as well as the translation. Now give the phone to another person 
and continue the same steps. All right, there might be times where you don't want to show all of your photos to your friends or kids. Well, in that case, check out this app. Augur is a simple tool for finding NSFW images on your phone. You can either search images with keywords like swimming or select the sensitivity of the image. This app lets you put away the selected images in a password protected safe vault. And once you're done, the images can be restored back to their respective original folders. Clock is a time zone converter. It's a world clock that shows you all time zones. Simply select the different time zones that you'd like to keep your eye on, like America or UK, and then simply add the app in your widget list. Tap on any time zone and then change its time with the help of an hour bar appearing right under it. You'll see all other time zones change accordingly useful while planning your international calls or video conferences or even just traveling. Now, most iPhones after iPhone 7 come with IP67 or 68 rating, but Apple didn't include a built-in way to get the water out like they did with the Apple Watch or like Samsung did with their Galaxy Watch. The water that gets into the speaker grills often lead to muffled audio for some time, but fortunately, you can remove it with the Sonic app. Check this out. Simply open the app, set the frequency, ideally it should be between 100 to 200 hertz, and then turn it on. Now simply watch your speakers as it magically pushes out all the water inside. It's a must have if you have a carefree attitude like me, who might accidentally drop the phone in a pool or the shower. So there you go, those were some of my favorite apps that I've discovered for iPhone so far. Do you know any cool ones? Well, let me know in the comment section below. Also, we've done a video on tennis max tips and tricks. So if you wanna expand your knowledge on tennis, just go watch that. And Vamsi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios, amigos.